This is what we're gonna do. Step one, light taunting. Step two, I have no idea. Sonic 2 took us into the Sonicverse, where we got to yet again experience Sonic's story of family and friendship forward at supersonic speeds. The movie revolves around the hunt for Master Emerald, which holds unfathomable power to build and destroy civilizations. After a fierce battle, everyone was able to breathe a sigh of relief when things turned out just right at the end. However, many questions were left swirling in our minds, the most prominent one being, what does it all mean for Sonic 3? This sequel sets up a super ambitious focus for the next chapter. The closing moments of Sonic 2 act as a springboard for bigger and better things for the series, including adapting one of the franchise's most iconic stories and a fan-favorite moment that many will have been waiting for. There is plenty to unpack in Sonic 2's ending alone, and this is what we will be digging into in today's video, starting from its Sonic 3 setups, secrets, and a breakdown of the significant moments that flew by in a flash. I saw you dance. Is that all you got? No, but thank you for asking. Let's start with this scene after the credits in Sonic the Hedgehog 2, specifically during the mid-credits, which simply demands our attention. The post-credits scene is important because that is where we get to learn from the gun agents that they can't confirm Robotnik's whereabouts. The film ended explosively, and Robotnik was naturally assumed to be dead. Still, since this was left unconfirmed, it leaves the slight possibility that we might be seeing this villain's return. But that's not all. What makes this scene so crucial is how it leads us to something, or should we say someone, even more interesting. After managing to trace Robotnik's files, the agents made a discovery. They find a secret lab containing a chamber with a sleeping hedgehog inside. Similar enough to pass for Sonic's twin, this particular black and red hedgehog is no ordinary one. That wasn't too bad. <laughs> If you are a casual audience member, you might be completely confused at a black and red hedgehog that looks suspiciously like Sonic. However, game fans will recognize this character immediately as none other than Shadow the Hedgehog. First debuted in the 2001 video game Sonic Adventure 2, Shadow is the creation of Robotnik's grandfather, Gerald, in a science experiment he tried 50 years before in effort to create what he referred to as the ultimate life form, to master the Chaos Emeralds. His plan was to cure his daughter, Maria, of her terminal illness using his invention named Shadow. In an unfortunate turn of events, Shadow had to helplessly watch as Maria was killed. After being deemed to be a loose cannon by gun agents, he was captured and contained in stasis. That is until he was released by the modern-day Dr. Eggman. Before her death, Shadow had formed a caring, protective bond with Maria. Still profoundly connected to her, Shadow shuffles between desiring to destroy the world to avenge her and protecting the world in honor of her. In his game, Shadow is depicted as having amnesia. At other times, he is portrayed as a rival to Sonic, with an anti-hero vibe that makes him appear more like the dark to Sonic's light. This makes things interesting as Shadow can match Sonic's speed and is pretty much his equal in skill. On top of that, he has weapons, including a gun. We can only guess what role Shadow will play in the anticipated Sonic the Hedgehog 3, but what we can be sure of is that things are bound to get interesting. Interesting. I've been training for this my entire life. And I have no training at all. Let's take a quick recap of all that happened in Sonic 2's final act. After betraying Knuckles, Robotnik succeeds in absorbing Master Emerald, which has the combined power of all the Chaos Emeralds, into his body. This transforms him into a being with limitless power and multiple voices. What is most notable is that he has the ability to bring everything he desires into reality. Considering how terrifyingly villain his thoughts are, this obviously spells trouble for mankind. Now that the fate of Earth and probably beyond is threatened, the authorities swing into action in an attempt to stop this power-drunk villain. However, with the ridiculous amount of power he possesses, Robotnik is able to make anything into lethal weapons. He draws in metal and reforms it into an enormous killer robot under his control from within. The battle is deadly fierce, as it should be since it is obvious that once he is done destroying Green Hills, the rest of the world and possibly even existence is next up. Robotnik has to be stopped, and who better to do the job than the super team, Knuckles, Tails, and Sonic. The trio joins forces to defeat Robotnik. 
forming a plan as they go. Taking advantage of Robotnik's hatred for him, Sonic plays the bait to allow Tails and Knuckles the chance to sneak attack Robotnik while he is distracted. The goal here is to knock free Master Emerald, which is the house of Robotnik's incredible power. While the plan works, Sonic ends up hurt in the process, but not even that can stop him from trying to get to the fallen Emerald. In an effort to get Sonic out of the way of getting crushed by Robotnik's giant robot feet, Tom and Maddie rush into the dangerous battlefield. All of Sonic's hope was hinged on using the power of Master Emerald, which he knows is capable of saving them all. But when he finally gets to it, it's no use. The Emerald crumbles in his hands, leaving him utterly defeated. Unable to get away, Tom, Maddie, and Sonic are left in a dangerous position. All hope seems lost and they are forced to accept their tragic fate as they prepare to be crushed. Right when it appears there is no way out of this sticky situation, our legendary hedgehog becomes the unstoppable Super Sonic. In this super state, Sonic goes straight for the giant robot's head and slices it open, exposing the evil Robotnik. Knowing that his game is up, Robotnik sheepishly throws in the towel and asks for a truce. Unfortunately for him, Sonic isn't having it. Reaching a new level of speed, Super Sonic kicks the giant robot and knocks Robotnik into the rubble below, where it is assumed he meets his end. Just then, his crony, Agent Stone, is spotted in a gun uniform, suspiciously blending in with his surroundings. After after the fierce fight, the victorious trio forms a new team, determined to keep Earth safe and keep the now restored Master Emerald safely protected from those who may wish to use it for evil. The movie ends with everyone resuming their lives with a new and stronger bond of love and friendship that fills their lives with happiness. Now surrounded by his friends and family, this is a happy ending that makes the loneliness Sonic once felt a thing of the distant past. No, Randall, listen to me. Randall, you... look at me. Ring on my finger. Randall, give me the ring. Give me just one second. Put a ring on. We think the ending of Sonic 2 sets the stage for Sonic 3. Particularly, Sonic 2's ending is pretty much the founding of Team Sonic, with all three of the founding members present. With the third movie in development, we can look forward to seeing the trio do plenty more world-saving together. Additionally, many new details are revealed in Sonic 2, including the existence of Emeralds, Gun, Super Sonic, the Mean Bean Coffee Shop based on Dr. Robotnik's Mean Bean Machine puzzle game, and of course, the biggest clue for what's next, Shadow. The Chaos Emeralds have been involved in causing a lot of well, chaos, and there is only one being capable of handling them. This is none other than Shadow the Hedgehog, who was created by Robotnik's grandfather. Seeing as Sonic and friends are now in charge of said emeralds, we can smell the trouble coming. Since Shadow has been introduced and would most likely be playing a major role in Sonic 3, we can expect to draw some parallels between what is to come and the plot of Sonic Adventure 2, where Shadow made his first appearance in the games. Taking cues from the Sonic Adventure 2 game, it is possible that Shadow would be revived and used as a tool to carry out Eggman's evil and vengeful agendas in the next Sonic film. Under Eggman's increasing control, Shadow frames Sonic for crimes and tries to bring down Sonic and his friends before he eventually decides to side with Sonic and stops destroying humanity. It is very likely that Sonic 3 may follow these beats from Sonic Adventure 2, and we would see some new characters from the game as well, but we can't wait to see what really happens next. And I know Oh, you're real! That's it on today's video. What do you think of the ending of Sonic 2? And what are your speculations on what might happen next? Do you think Robotnik is really dead? Or do you suspect he might be making an appearance soon? Share your best theories in the comments. For more interesting content, make sure to subscribe to this channel and turn your post notifications on. Thanks for watching, and bye for now. Your flying eggs are pretty impressive, Mr. Eggman. But let's face it, 